do you know? What do you know? Tell you what I know. I'm making an interesting delivery today. I've delivered to places like this before whenever I did flatbed, but never never since I've done dry van. But um gonna kind of show y'all what we're doing here. Uh, I'm trying to see if this guy's coming to talk to us first. Got one coming this direction. And no, he's just going by. Anyway, so we're delivering to a solar farm. And uh man, I guess this project's been going on for a while because we drove way back off in here. And um they're unloading trucks up here on the hill so let me show y'all what they're doing here now i'm behind this truck here he's in front of me i tailed him in and somebody escorted us in but i don't know if y'all can see that or not let me see if i can't zoom in here well it's not letting me zoom in but anyway they got telehandler over there or a high reach forklift and they are pulling the solar panels out of the dry vans and setting them aside and then they got a uh, little little track unit skid steers or whatever you want to call them some people call them skid loaders but they got those with forks and they're moving the solar panels out to where they need them and I don't know that they're going to have us unload up there or if they're going to have us unload over here because this looks like the next phase. Now up on the hill up there a little bit farther, i uh, got a bunch of flatbedders, but it's got all the poles and stuff. They're unloading up there. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Um, they're calling it Fountain, Colorado. Um, we are closer to Fountain than we are Pueblo, but we're in, in between the two. Uh, so, yeah. So, we're going to get unloaded. And uh, I'll give you all some footage while we're coming back out of here. Kind of give you an idea how far back off in here I had to go. And... Um, I kind of wanted to talk about the numbers on this load and to kind of give an example of how bad the market has just plummeted. Um, we'll talk about the numbers on this load compared to uh, one that basically ran the same same freight lane three weeks ago. So, so yeah, we'll catch up here in just a little bit. So my current situation is... Uh, they moved me a little bit closer here. Um, I've been here four hours now. And it's taking over an hour per truck, it seems like. Um, I had a 10 a.m. appointment. And we're currently sitting at 2 p.m. So, needless to say, I'm not able to make my next load. So I lost another load. So, I don't mind having long unload times, but I prefer it when the agent at least advises us about it so that way we can plan our days accordingly. Like I took a load, my first load this week, the uh, agent actually informed me that hey these loads typically take about four hours to unload 
So I knew then how to plan my day accordingly. And it did. It took right at four hours to unload. And when it takes that long and you know ahead of time, you, there's no there's no reason to be upset. You knew going into it that it could take that long. Well, when you get into situations like this and nobody tells you, hey, you're going to lose half a day. When you lose half a day and then your next load, it just really puts you in a bad spot because now I have no way there's nothing on the load board that I can pick up either later today or first thing in the morning to connect to my load it's supposed to take me home. So now my only option is at this point, unless something pops up, which I'll, I'll keep looking until, until it just absolutely comes down to it. But my only option at this point is to bounce. Um, I want to say it's like 450 miles to go get my next load. And with rates being like they are already, it really sucks to lose a load, to lose a day. Actually, this is going to turn into like a day and a half loss because I'm going to have the better part of a day deadheading to go get my other load. And I've done lost half a day already just sitting here. So, um, depending on how you cut it up, I mean, it's a day and a half, two day loss, you know. Um, and I can't figure out if it's just me and it's my luck or if everybody is dealing with this right now. But man, I cannot I can't get a full week without some BS. And I hate to say that, but it has just been brutal. So yeah, this is my current situ situation. So whenever we finally get unloaded and I get to leave, um, I'll get back with y'all then. Well, all right, got good news and good news. They finally got me unloaded. And I'm talking back and forth with the agent about detention time on this, so hopefully I get detention on it. Um, it does sound pretty promising, and the guy that signed my bill uh, signed off on my in and out time, so. Hopefully that works in my favor. And the other good news is the agent uh, with the with my reload that I had to uh, that I wasn't able to make now. Uh, you know she had to pull me off of it, but she called me back just a little while ago and told me that she's got another one, weighs less, going to the same area, and this time I can pick it up tomorrow morning. And instead of being a multi-stop load, it's a single stop load. So I'm gonna and it pays the same. So I'm gonna go grab it in the morning. And that gets me close to my uh, load that takes me to the house. So for once, things actually worked out in my favor. Oh yeah, that's a good bump. Alright. So we got to get turned around here. And uh, I want to say it's like four miles all the way back up in here. So we got a ways to go to get out of here. Bigger. 
they come out here and grade this a little bit. Man, oh man. This reminds me a lot of my flatbedding days because you get off and stuff like this quite a bit when you're flatbedding. Anyway, like I said, things finally worked out in my favor, and I don't know why this guy is stopping now. Maybe, oh, uh, probably because there's equipment coming our direction. my truck in a while it'd be dirty it, I mean it is dirty right now but man oh man I'd be a little disappointed if it was clean because uh it definitely has a bunch of dirt on it now Since I can't pick up my reload till tomorrow morning, I'm only going to go about uh, about 60 miles once I get out of here and go ahead and park for the day. Uh, so yeah, we'll catch you up then. I'll let you all enjoy the ride out, and I'll talk to you all once we get parked up at the uh, truck stop this evening. Talk to y'all in a bit. truck stop now 
I've actually been back here for a little while now, but I've been handling a few things. Had to get some stuff straightened out. But, um, so yeah, that was the uh, solar farm. Um, as you can see, I was a long ways back off in there. Um, it actually took quite a while to get back out. Um, hopefully y'all could see it. There was, there was several fields that already had existing solar panels. Um, that from what I could tell was already being utilized. Because uh, when I went in earlier today, um, they were facing one direction, and whenever I was leaving, they was facing another. So they were, you know, they were, they were angling and following the sun. Um, so that told me that they was actually being utilized. Uh, but there were several, several fields that were still being, um, that were still under construction. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, I lost a lot of time out there, though. Um, fortunately, I didn't completely. Um, I did lose my load, but then in a sense, I kind of ended up with a better one. Um, so hopefully that's, that's a sign of my luck changing because man, I've had some crap luck here lately, but, um, I kind of wanted to, to discuss, to kind of shed some light on, um, how the market is kind of, how bad it's dropped just in a matter of a few weeks. Um, a couple weeks ago. Um, I had a load that actually canceled on me, but um, I was in uh, Southern California, the Los Angeles area, and um, I couldn't find a, a contract load. Um, I was calling agents, calling agents. I couldn't find any kind of direct ship or freight. Um, so I got to the point that I was looking at third-party brokered freight, you know, spot market. Not sure why uh, why my camera decided to quit filming, but um, so yeah, I was looking at spot market freight is what I was saying, and um, loads out of the Los Angeles area going up to Denver. I was seeing anywhere from three thousand to thirty five hundred. Um, I ended up finding one that paid thirty six hundred, and I booked it. Because it was the best thing that I was seeing going to that, going from that area to that area. Um, as y'all saw in my in my previous video, that load ended up canceling on me. I ended up with something else. But what I'm getting at though is how the market has dropped. So this time I was in the Los Angeles area. Only two weeks difference here, um, and everything from the Los Angeles area going up towards the Denver area was only paying 2000 to 2500 That load that I just hauled to the solar farm out of the Los Angeles area going to Fountain, Colorado, which is not far from Denver, so I kind of, you know, kind of using that as a comparison, but that load only paid 2700 and that's the reason why I booked it. It was the best thing that I could find running that, that same lane. Um, so 3,600 two weeks ago, 2,700 this week. That's a pretty big difference when you're only talking about, I don't know, 1,100, 1,200 miles. Um, that's, and, and, and the 30, and I, and 3,600 was a trash rate in my opinion. Um, and now we're down to 2,700. So that's just to kind of shed some light or kind of give an example of, of what we're seeing out here. That's how bad it's dropping. Um, I'm hoping that we've kind of found the bottom and it starts picking back up because it's, it's making it very hard, um, to run a lease truck and be profitable. Um, that is for sure. Um, so yeah, that's what I got. That's all I have to say today. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, 
you know, I try, I'm trying not to be all doom and gloom, but it's, it's been pretty brutal here lately. Um, and so I'm just trying to get through it, you know, just trying to stay above water. Um, trying to keep the wheels rolling, um, and at least earning something. Um, I'm not by any means am I hitting any home runs or anything like that, but, um, you know, I'm just staying out, staying on the road, um, keeping the truck moving and just trying to trying to get through it hopefully uh like i said hopefully it'll start uh, going back in the other direction before too long and uh yeah so um if you've hung around this long i appreciate y'all hit that thumbs up hit that like button or hit that subscribe button and uh like always stay safe stay warm shiny side up rubber side down catch y'all on the next one